Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I want to solve this differential equation using Laplace transforms. So let's solve it using Laplace transforms. And the first step is to take the Laplace transform of both sides. So I'm going to do it piece by piece. Starting off the Laplace transform of y double prime, you've probably seen a table of Laplace transforms. And we know the Laplace transform of a second derivative looks like this. It looks like s squared times the Laplace transform of y minus s times the first initial condition and then minus the second initial condition. So when you're doing this, you sort of count down by s's and you also count down by initial conditions. That's sort of how I remember this. Then I would have plus five from this five times the Laplace transform of y prime. Well, it's the same sort of rule. So the Laplace transform of y prime is s times the Laplace transform of y minus the first initial condition. And then I've got plus 6 times the Laplace transform of y is equal to 0. The Laplace transform of 0 is 0. Well, I know what y naught is. It was given to me. It was 0. And I know what y prime naught is. This is just 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everything that's not a Laplace transform of y to the right side and keep everything that does have a Laplace transform of y on the left. So in this case, this y naught is also 0. The only thing that's not a Laplace transform of y is this 1. In fact, it's minus 1, so I'm going to add it to the right-hand side. So this is going to give me s squared times the Laplace of y plus, I would have plus 5s Laplace transform of y plus 6 Laplace transform of y is equal to 1. Now if you notice, there's a Laplace transform of y in every single term on the left. It's a factor of every term on the left which means I can factor it out. Maybe I'll just rewrite this. So this is going to look like Laplace transform of y all times s squared plus 5s plus 6. And this is no coincidence that the s squared plus 5s plus 6 looks a lot similar to the same original differential equation we were given. Well, I can divide both sides by this this thing to solve for the Laplace transform of y. I'll just divide by whatever's next to it to get 1 over s squared plus 5s plus 6. And now if I can take the inverse Laplace of both sides, that'll give me my answer. So how can I take the inverse transform of this? Well, I'm going to have to factor it and split it up using partial fractions. So if I factor this, two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to 5, I think 2 and 3 do it. And since these are both linear factors, when I split this up into partial fractions, this is going to look like a over s plus 2 plus b over s plus 3. And the way we solve this is I multiply both sides by the entire denominator. And if I do that, That'll give me that 1 is equal to a times, well, the s plus 2s would cancel, and I'd be left with a times s plus 3. And I'd have b, the s plus 3s would cancel, and that would be times s plus 2. I'm simply getting that by multiplying both sides by the denominator on the left. The easiest way to solve for a and b here is to substitute values for s. For example, if I were to let s be negative 2 in this equation, I would have 1 is equal to a times 1, and the b term would drop away because I'd get minus 2 plus 2. Well, 1a is 1, so a is 1. And very similar, similar, I could let s be minus 3, and the a term would drop away. And I'd have 1 is equal to b times minus 1, and so b is minus 1. So if you need to see that again, feel free to rewind. But a is 1, 
I can replace that right here. A is 1, B is minus 1, or maybe I'll just make it like this, minus. And now that I've done this, this is an easy form to take the Laplace inverse of both sides. So if I inverse the Laplace of y, if I inverse transform it, that'll just be y. If I inverse transform 1 over s plus 2, you can either look on a table of Laplace transforms, or maybe you have this in your head by now. But this is just e to the minus 2t. Right? Anytime you have s plus something, that turns into an e to the negative that thing times whatever the Laplace transform is. And here, this would be minus, very similar, e to the minus 3t. And there's your answer to this differential equation. It's the same thing you would have gotten by solving the characteristic, or you might call it the auxiliary equation, and doing it that way, finding the roots and taking derivatives and so on. But this is pretty cool. This is a very introductory Laplace transform question. If you want to see more videos on Laplace transforms, please let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more math videos like this, make sure to subscribe and have a fantastic day.